What's up, Geeks? So my biggest concern with the M1 iPad Pro has been performance throttling, right? The chassis is so thin, I was wondering if they would throttle performance in order to cool it. Well, we just got some benchmarks out and it's showing that this thing is everything that we wanted it to be and possibly more. Hey guys, Editor Chris here. Be sure to stay tuned until the end because I have an experiment that I'm thinking about trying and I wanna get your feedback on it. Let's break it all down, but before we get started, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss as we cover your favorite tech and video games. I'm Chris Grant Jr. It's the Granite Geek Show. Okay, so according to Mac rumors, there are some Geekbench 5 numbers from the new M1 iPad Pro. But before we get into the numbers, if you guys are into DC, Marvel, those kind of movies and TV shows, be sure to check out my other channel, WeSibs, where I cover all kinds of stuff like that. Shameless plug. So the single core score for this was 1700 and the multi-core score was 7200. Let me break down why that should impress you. Not only is that around a 50% increase from the previous iPad Pro, but the i9 16 inch MacBook Pro came in at about 6800 on Geekbench 5. Now of course this isn't as high as the numbers we typically get with the M1 MacBook Air and the M1 Mac Mini, but it's so close it's almost within the margin of error. And again, this is why this should impress you, it is in the form factor of an iPad Pro. Quite frankly, there just isn't as much space for airflow or even sheer mass, like amount of aluminum in the chassis of the M1 iPad Pro to create these numbers, but somehow this is what Apple's able to pull out of the chip in the body of the M1 iPad Pro. I mean, just imagine walking into a room of professionals with their 16 inch i9 MacBook Pros and your iPad is more powerful than all of them. The machine is simply a beast. But as always, hardware doesn't typically give you the full picture. Uh, software is really where the iPad has needed to improve for years now. And this is why I think that iOS 15 is truly going to unleash the iPad Pro. You don't have performance specs that beat the i9 MacBook Pro and not think that Apple's going to do something with the software. I did a full video on what I think needs to come to the iPad software wise in order to make it worth buying. So I'll leave a link to that somewhere here on the screen and of course, down down in the description below. But yeah, this M1 chip is no slouch, not even in the thin chassis of the M1 iPad Pro. Now here's an interesting experiment that I might try if you guys are down. We've seen channels like Linus Tech Tips put cooling pads on the MacBook Air in order to increase performance. Would it be possible to do something similar with the M1 iPad Pro? If you want to see me try that out, leave me a comment down below with Hey GG before you say your comment, and that way I'll get a gauge of how many people want to see if we can kind of crank the performance numbers up to the level of the M1 Mac Mini or even past it. I mean, the M1 Mac Mini was coming in at about 7300, so it's not even that far away. But let me know down below, were you expecting more throttling and were you surprised by these numbers? Are you disappointed by these numbers? I'll be chatting it up with you guys in the comments as always also hit the like button guys if you're liking the content subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss as i'll be doing a full series on the ipad pro m1 i know a lot of people's iMacs are starting to ship i haven't yet gotten the shipping notification for my m1 but i'll let you know as soon as that happens also guys give me any updates you've got on your shipping down in the comments we got a lot to talk about so thank you guys so much for watching as always i'm chris grant jr it's the granite geek show